Hi, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, we'll be looking at some sort of, um, you know, competition on how to do uh, anomaly um, analysis. So the first thing is just let's import a country's boundary database here. Um, and also let's create a point data by using uh, EE geometry uh, dot point here. Um, so I'll use an example Ethiopia as in the previous you know examples and I'll also I'll create um, a random you know data point within my steady region right I'll provide the latitude and longitude this will create a you know point data right and the next thing is just to import uh, you know precipitation data here I'll, I'll select uh, precipitation layer and also filter bound um, so that I'll not use the entire global data um, so most important thing here is just to focus here is I'll calculate a reference data and the, what this does is just it will calculate for each month from months 1 to 12 January to December it will calculate you know a long-term mean value all right so technically a layer that contains long-term mean for each month like January long-term mean you know February long-term and things like that all right and the next thing we need to do is calculate you know the mean for each year and each month right so this function will will achieve that once we have a reference you know reference uh, precipitation uh, and also a mean for each month and year right so to calculate anomaly what we'll do is just we'll subtract the will subtract the long-term mean from each monthly mean, right? That will provide us an anomaly map for each month. And then we can plot that, we can you know, do a, a chart and things like that. So this is the function that calculates you know, the anomaly using the mean. So the first chunk of the script, you know, what it does is it will calculate the mean for each month, right? That's, that's the function that does that. After that, you know, you will, this is the, 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 the part that does, you know, the magic to calculate the anomaly. So return mean, subtract means. That means from each month, monthly mean data, subtract the means. The means is, you remember here, that's the reference long-term mean for each month, right? So technically that's our reference data. So this will technically calculate the um, anomaly for each month, right? So for the entire time series, all right? But one important thing to note is that here we have defined the start of our time series as 2017. And then here we defined months as, um, you know, 36 months, right? So technically three years of data. So for this you know, analysis, we're using data from 2017, 2018, and 2019, three years of data, right? We can define a different start time and end date. So finally, we have, you know, so this by months contains anomaly, right? So um, anomaly map. And using that anomaly map, we can extract, you know, for any data point and just generate a time series, right? So let's map this um, anomaly. Uh, technically, just pick the first of this anomaly by calling this by months. That's our anomaly. And then just take the first image and then clip it by our steady area. And also, you know, minimum and maximum and um, our, our precipitation uh, you know, colors or visualization parameter, and I'll call it anomaly here. And the last thing that we can do is just we can also plot this anomaly um, by using you know UI chart image series, um, you know, typical time series uh, plotting function. But here, the most important thing is we can bring that anomaly here and also the point that we have created over here, remember. We've created a point initially over here, right? We'll use that to generate, to extract data and generate the time series. Your code is ready, so you can execute um, by clicking run here. I have already uh, executed this code, so I should be having something like this, right? So 
you know, you can see that, you know, anomaly map, that's just for the first, you know, January 2017, technically the first, um, you know, time, the first anomaly map. But most importantly, it's not only the map, we can also, um, you know, generate um, anomaly, you know, time series, right? So we have a trend here, like a positive anomaly, um, and this is the, the, the x-axis technically zero, there's no change here. Um, so it's kind of like negative anomaly, precipitation, uh, positive anomaly. So it's kind of like, it's not a linear trend. So there's some variability over, you know, some months and some years, right? So this is a typical, you know, anomaly time series that you can create using, uh, you know, some function, built-in function on Earth engine and also, uh, you know, pre precipitation data, um, you know, to understand and just evaluate a drought condition in a certain region.